All right, uh, each of us only uh, have uh, 15 minutes, and we're going to spend the next 15 minutes to give you an overview of our group called uh, Information Systems Group. Uh, I'm one of the faculty, generally. So let, let me first give you a little bit of background about myself. So I came to UCI in 2001. And that's 16 years ago. Uh, back to Alex's claim about the growth of this uh, school or, or campus, I can say in the last 15 years or 16 years, that the campus has uh, expanded dramatically. For example, the building we are in right now, uh, the building uh, in ECS, across this uh, plaza, and also the Cal Tito building, all these three buildings were not there when I first came here, when I did my interview. And, and one of the reasons I chose Irvine uh, over other places was because of the potential growth of this, uh, of this campus, which turned out to be, to be the case. Uh, now, well, my background, I came here in 2001, and, and, and I, uh, I took some time off to do some, uh, to, take, to take a leave, to work at a Google for about a uh, few quarters, because I wanted to see how, how the industry uh, manages their projects, or develops their products, and, and that, that process was, was pretty educational. And I came back, uh, and I tried to use some of the ideas I learned from that industry experience to manage my projects. And, and later, uh, I think and, and many people have this dream of doing some startup, and so I took the adventure of starting a business. Again, I took a leave for about, uh, about one year full time. Uh, and as many, many companies, uh, the company didn't succeed, uh, but that's also a good experience. Uh, it's a very different perspective from when you work on a startup try, trying to make a business out of what you're doing in your research paper. Um, so I came back full time in 2014, uh, 14, 15. So again, after a second uh, a journey, I had more ideas about how to do my uh, work. Uh, I, nowadays, my work has a very strong flavor of uh, systems-oriented research. Uh, in, in addition to um, doing research, I spend lots of time building systems and trying to make those systems really uh, scalable, usable, and uh, have some impact. This is my background. So. I want to talk about our ISG group. So I just maybe switch to the, the website. So ISG stands for Information Systems Group. Uh, currently, uh, we have uh, my uh, five uh, faculty within ICS, uh, Mark Carey, Ramesh Chien, myself, Sharon Marotra, and Nalini Venkata Subramanian. So I'm pretty good at pronouncing her last name. So <laughs> you should be impressed. Do you have any people from India how to, how to, who knows how to uh, pronounce her last name. Um, so we cover all different areas related to data management, uh, middleware, uh, security, and multimedia, to, to, to name a few top topics. So Mike, uh, uh, he, uh, he spent uh, 12 years at the uh, University of Wisconsin-Madison before he got aboard, uh, and then he went to the industry. He spent another 12 years in the industry working at different places like IBM or some startup, uh, who, which didn't work out either. And then he got a board again, so he, he, he wanted to come back to academia. So we grabbed the opportunity to attract him to, to Irvine. So he joined us in 2008 or 9-ish, uh, and he is a very well-established uh, scholar and researcher in the community uh, with a long list of awards. So I will not mention an ACM fellow, uh, IEEE, oh, I should be a fellow, uh, all kinds of awards. Okay, so he, he's one of our first uh, Donald Brand chairs we hired uh, uh, in our in our whole school. So Ramesh Jim, he's another Donald Brand chair uh, our school has. So very proud. We're very proud. Among all the Donald Brand chairs, we have two of those very uh, very uh, respected uh, researchers. So he joined us about one or two years before Mike. Uh, his main interest uh, was uh, in is in multimedia. He has uh, quite a few successful startups before he joined uh, UCI. Uh, I'll talk more about myself later uh, about my research. And uh, Sherrod Marutra, he basically he hired me. Okay, so he's the guy to be to to, to blame. Um, he he was by one year two years earlier than me. Uh, he first worked at uh, Illinois. And then uh, maybe he, he doesn't like the, the corns there, or he, 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 something, he likes something like uh, the sunny, uh, more, more entertaining. So he came here in about 2000. Uh, 2000. Uh, his work 
it's mainly about the data management, um, security, uh, privacy, all kinds of topics uh, um, related to data management. Nalini, uh, uh, they came here together for, for some reason because the husband and wife. Um, <laughs> and, and then she, uh, uh, her main work is more about the middleware and security. Okay, so these are the five faculty within our group. So in addition to these uh, five faculty within ICS, we also have one affiliated faculty from ECS, uh, Philip, Philip Shu, whose main work is about also about data management. So in addition to this uh, faculty, uh, our group is mainly on the on the second floor. Uh, Ramesh is on the third floor. Uh, we have about the 20 plus PhD students. So on average, every faculty has about uh, about four to five students, PhD students. So in addition, we have um, a very large number of uh, staff and members and visitors. And I also work with uh, master students and undergrad students uh, very closely. Like Zhu Zhi is one of the students uh, I've been working with for the last two years. Despite, despite the fact uh, he's uh, just uh, getting his bachelor's degree. So it's a very energetic group. We have a lot of things ongoing within our, um, within our, our, our group. So next I want to use uh, uh, the next few minutes to talk about uh, two projects I'm working on to give you some flavor of the type of work uh, or type of problems we're trying to address. So one problem is, one uh, project is uh, uh, what uh, uh, Alex has mentioned. So it's called the uh, Apache uh, Asset DB. Uh, the reason we, we work on this one is it's really a big data project. So very often, big data is more like a buzzword. Right? It's very hard. Lots of, lots of uh, conferences, a lot of companies pay a lot of attention to big data. Uh, we are doing a big data uh, project. And the difference is uh, we're really building a big data system. Okay? This is a, a, a system, Java, open source Java system or, or parallel database system we started building in 2009. Okay? That's, that's almost eight years ago, and we are still building it. And for people who are familiar with this, this area, if you know uh, Oracle has a parallel uh, databases, the biggest one might be just the Teradata, right? But these companies, their solution is very powerful, but non, they're not open source. Of course, in the, in the open source community, we have many, many solutions. We have HDFS, we have Spark, we have Hadoop, we have Mongo, we have Couchbase. They all have, they, they all focus on different uh, niche markets. Okay? And, uh, I will not go through detail of uh, the differences of, of our different solutions. The, 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 the system we are building can be viewed as a, a parallel database system that can run on the cluster of machines. So the largest installation we have done uh, had about a, a few hundred nodes. And the data is partitioned across all different nodes and we can manage terabytes of data. And, and we have our own storage, we have our own index structures, we have our own Runtime, and a, a query language, and query compiler. So it's a, a full stack database solution, rather than let's say Spark. Right? Spark is more like a runtime. They don't have any index structures. They don't have any storage. But this is a full stack database solution. Okay. And another thing I want to mention is it is an Apache project because two years ago we decided to to join the Apache Foundation, uh, and then we went through the, the incubation phase. Now it's already graduated. Uh, so it's, it's a top level project. And it is a active collaboration with many places, including other UC campuses, like UC Riverside, UC, San, UC Los Angeles, RA, uh, RA and uh, San Diego, in addition to some other companies like uh, Couchbase. Yeah. In, one, in one of the latest Couchbase products, uh, they adopted our solution in their product because we are using the Apache license, which doesn't have any uh, commercial restrictions on what, what you can do with it. Okay, this is a, one of the main activities we, we, are, we are working on. Um, so on top of it, on top of the asset DB, I have another project called uh, uh, Cloudberry. Um, the, the main idea of Cloudberry is now we have a database system, how can we use the database system, which is parallel, to support large-scale uh, interactive uh, uh, analysis and uh, visualization. Mm -hmm. So, because one data, if the data is so huge in terabytes range, uh, when do a query, how can you get a response within, let's say, one second? 
Okay, that's the goal of this kind of uh, research project. Uh, this is this one can be viewed as a middleware on top of your database to do uh, analysis and visualization. So a quick demo I can show you here is for this one we have been building. Um, this one the backend has uh, uh, about uh, like uh, about uh, seven seven sixty million records. Uh, it's it's tweets. <coughs> one of the social media websites. So on this kind of website, you can do all kinds of analysis. <coughs> so say you, do a, you do a keyword search, uh, then the system it can is so fast, it can give the results within a few seconds, or even one, one second. And then we can also allow you to change your conditions dynamically, say, if you can see some of the sample, sample tweets, uh, uh, or you can just change your time dimension, then as you change your time condition, the system can responsibly give you the results. Okay. In addition, you can also go into certain regions, like in California, you want to see how trees mentioned in Zika are distributed inside California. So when you go to this level, we show you the distribution based on different counties. Okay. You can go even deeper to say, uh, maybe I want to look at Orange County. So now at this level, you can even get the results at the city level. Is we allow we allow you to go zoom in, zoom out to visualize the data. But the key thing you want to pay attention to is the backend is large. It's a huge amount of data. And in addition, what if your data set is even bigger? Uh, that's not our concern, mainly because uh, our backend is a parallel cluster. Okay, this is really a, a tiny cluster with six machines that can handle this about about one terabyte of data. If you add more data, we can just throw in more hardware, and then the whole thing can, can still be very scalable. Uh, and also keep in mind, this is live. As we speak, every second, there are about 20 new trees being ingested into the system. Okay. This is another thing we're doing to show what uh, we can do in the big data era. Okay. The, the last project I want to mention uh, uh, briefly is a uh, TaxDB project. Uh, Zhou Zhi uh, <coughs> is one of the main contributors of this project. The main idea of this uh, project is uh, how you can do declarative and GUI-based uh, text analysis. Okay, so, mm -hmm. so if it, we know text is everywhere, and we need to do a lot of operations on text. Some operations could be made much easier if the system can provide a GUI interface using which a user can explicitly say what they want to do. More like the, the way SQL becomes successful. And SQL is successful, successful mainly because it allows uh, uh, a person without much training to express what they want to say using the basic clauses. Okay? But here we're doing something very similar. For instance, if you want to analyze, say, a large co collection of documents, you first do some keyword search, get some, some documents, and maybe on the top of the results, you can apply some regular expression, or you can use some dictionary or some other operations. So by, by providing all these basic uh, building blocks, uh, we allow the user to use them to express what they, what they want to do in a very declarative way. Of course, this, this framework cannot solve all the problems because text is a big domain. Uh, there are many solutions like uh, machine learning based approaches. They tend to be more iterative. But we also see there are, a lot of, there are enough use cases where a non-expert wants to analyze a text in a very efficient way. So we want to lower the bar of doing text uh, analyt analytics by providing this GUI and using which people can easily do drag and drop to say what they want to do. And the backend will do all the weight lifting to do the indexing, query processing, to give you what you want. And if the user wants to make some changes on this GUI, the system can interactively rerun the query and give you the little results. So then, it's more like uh, the way we write uh, uh, programs. It's more like a debugger, right? In debugger, you, de you trace your program, you see the status of every variable uh, or, or how memory is allocated. So th this GUI gives that uh, capability for the developer to debug their workflow program to see how the results can change. Okay. So this is another one I'm uh, working on. So basically, this is my work, mainly about the data management and. Uh, and the text processing. So uh, I sincerely wish you, you can join our uh, UCI, and some of you are our ISG students, I would also sincerely wish you can join our very exciting ISG group, okay? 
Any questions? If not, uh, Alex will be the next speaker.